What's up Rebels, what's up Pride Crew? So, this week, Food Friday, I am talking about water and how I set up my water that I drink throughout the day. So here's how I set up my water that I drink throughout the day. So uh, this is uh, two quarts of water, which would be half a gallon. So through the day, I usually drink a full gallon. I have two cups of, I have two very large travel mugs of coffee in the morning. So I get enough water in the morning. Plus I have a cup of tea in the morning as well. So I definitely, I, I get enough water throughout the day, but usually my issue is uh, I only drink coffee or tea until about noon, and then I realize that I'm dehydrated, and then I start drinking water all day long, and then I, I'm finally rehydrated usually by the end of the day. So how I drink my water through the day, a lot of people, myself included, I, I struggle with drinking straight water. If I drink just straight water, I can only have teeny tiny little sips. If I chug a whole bunch of water, when it sits in my stomach, because there is no, uh, there's no nutrients in the water, there's nothing for my stomach to break down or digest, I then want to throw that water up. So I really struggle with drinking straight water. So I fixed this many years ago and how I fixed this came about because way, way, way back in the day when I used to drink soda, I, at the age of 21, got kidney stones. Like every single male member of my family at the age of 21 gets kidney stones without fail. And I fell victim to that curse. When I went to the doctor, I was told no more dark soda, number one cause. So no more dark soda, that was it. So I drank clear soda for a couple of years and then finally eventually I got smart and no more soda ever again. Now the doctor also told me there is a trick to dissolving kidney stones naturally and it comes from acid and specifically citric acid from lemons. So the doctor told me literally just drink natural lemonade or even crystal light lemonade because crystal light lemonade is flavored with citric acid. So it's pretty close to natural. You can say uh, it's processed, it comes in a package and it comes from a factory, but citric acid comes from citrus and that's it. So for many, many, many years now, that is how I have had water throughout the day and how I can stomach drinking large quantities of water is I use an additive. So you can use Crystal Light. Uh, I have these, they're from the fabulous store of Walmart. Uh, Trader Joe's has their own brand, Harris Teeter, Wegmans, Kroger, Publix, everybody has their own brand of this stuff. It's all the same stuff, all right? It's just lemonade. Uh, I get this one that I actually like from Walmart because it also has electrolytes in it. Now, what I do is I've got two of these and I'm gonna throw these in my water. So there's one and here's the other one. This one is actually, the second one is uh, pomegranate lemonade. So I've got a little bit of flavor in there. Then a uh, little bit of Gatorade. So. This isn't something that I recommend for if you are losing weight or if you obviously are pre-diabetic or diabetic, this is a no-no. But when it comes to performance training and you're in a gym for hours on end, uh, my training sessions are usually two hours at a minimum. I, even on my cardio days without kettlebell or lifting, you know, my workout's still an hour. 
at least 30 minutes of running and then a bunch of other stuff. So when you're in the gym for a long period of time, stuff like Gatorade helps to replenish electrolytes and carbs. You're gonna lose a lot of carbs and if you follow like templates from RP, Renaissance Periodization, which we use, they will tell you intra carbs during your workout Gatorade is one of the best things. So I use Gatorade, I don't use a ton. So the, the serving size is like two scoops for two quarts or something like that. It's, it's a ridiculous serving size. I don't even do that much. So I literally, for my two quart jug here, um, I do like two thirds of a scoop. So we throw that in and then the number one most important thing, and the real reason why I wanted to do this video today is this right here, salt. Uh, and this specifically is salt with iodine. We use sea salt at home, and it's a big thing, especially in you know the health and fitness community, is that we all use sea salt, don't use table salt, it's man-made, it's a chemical, it's not really salt, it's fake, you know, it's not natural. We use sea salt at home, and I love salt in general, especially sea salt. So I use a ton of salt, I sweat a lot. So it's very important for me to replenish the salt that leaves my body. Now, the other reason why to have more salt in your system, salt will help you retain a little bit of water. And during the summer when you are sweating out, I can lose two to three pounds of water weight over the course of a two hour workout. That this is routine for me on an almost daily basis. When you lose two pounds of water weight, you're losing a lot of salt. You need to not only replenish that salt, but a way to help not lose so much water weight is to retain some water weight, and that's with salt. Now, there are some other parts of putting salt into your water that when you do it over time, you will eventually, somebody's trying to play practical joke on me behind the camera. So eventually over time, you will actually get used to retaining water from your salt content. So what happens is when you, when you have a lot of salt content like I do, you use it every day in your water, eventually your body actually gets used to having that much salt in your body and your body adjusts and you actually won't retain that much water. So you can either keep up in your salt intake, which is not necessarily a healthy or good thing, or you know you can be okay with losing two pounds of water weight, which I perfectly, I'm, I'm okay with it and I'm used to it. Now, if I lose like five pounds of water weight, then I know I probably didn't have enough salt earlier in the day. So. We've seen a lot of videos from a lot of bodybuilders and a lot of power lifters and strong men talking about, oh, you just take a tablespoon of salt, you just shovel it in and then swallow down some water before your workout. That is by far one of the most disgusting things you will ever attempt to do. It is gross. I've had clients that have seen videos from people on YouTube and on Instagram and taken their advice and before they came in here, put a whole tablespoon of salt in their mouth and then tried to swallow it down with some water and then came into the gym and then got sick. Okay, when you are stranded on an island or on a life raft, you know what you can't do? You can't drink the water in the ocean because it is such a high salt content. A tablespoon of salt at once is way too much salt to have at one time. It needs to be spread out more. So the trick to this is to put your salt in your water. Very easy to do. And if you drink a full gallon of water, you can dilute a teaspoon to a tablespoon of salt into a gallon of water 
and you'll taste it a little, but if you are also adding in the citric acid and the Gatorade, or say your pre-workout or BCAAs, which are useless by the way, but if you're adding them to your water before your workout, you have that flavor in there and it kind of masks that super salty taste. So, salt in the water. Now the other reason why we use salt with iodine here at the gym uh, is because we use sea salt at home, so we actually don't get enough iodine in our diet. So we use iodized salt here at the gym and at home we use sea salt. So when I add this to my water, uh, literally all I do is get this on my pour spout and I literally just pour in, that's it. I probably pour in a quarter teaspoon, maybe, up to a half a teaspoon. So I'll do this for my other one too, which is fairly clear right now. And I've got two more packs of uh, lemonade. Now, the other great thing about these lemonade pouches is that they're great to travel with. So if you have a stainless steel water bottle that you travel with, like I do everywhere I go around the world, and you fill that up at the airport, you can take it through security, empty, of course, because you know, you can't take water with you. And then once you get into the terminal before you get on the plane, then you can add your, you know, citric acid, your lemonade, your electrolytes. I, I travel with, I get small packets of Gatorade to travel with. And then all you do is just stop by like a, a bagel place or a sandwich place in the airport and you get the little single serve packings of salt and you can dump those in too. And it's free, so that's that. So this is how I set my water up and this is how I drink my water through the day. This is how I get in my electrolytes and some intra during workout carbs and it's how I get my salt into my water throughout the day, not trying to shovel down a tablespoon of salt in the kitchen and then throwing up when you get to the gym. So, this is how I do it, and obviously, I'm recommending this is how you do it. That's it, guys. That's your Food Friday. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe. All that stuff helps out a great. If you guys have any questions, just leave them down in the comments, and I will get to your questions. Thanks, guys. Peace. Oh, 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 oh,